Today I was uh, thinking I'm gonna talk about uh, my pit. Uh, he's uh, I got a pit dog. He's a little mini pincher. Kind of since uh, since uh, all right, two, 2003 summer. That's about 2003. Oh, we got Sandra's got the paperwork. That's that's more Sandra's dog. We, we lost our our old dog. <clears throat> uh, I think three months there she she was one another dog. So we bought we bought him in Idaho. We, came across the country with us. <laughs> of course, uh, there was no room um, in the car for all the pits. So uh, we had him run behind the car, you know, kind of like, uh, he had much choice. You know, I had get the idea from Chevy Chase, tie him to the bumper, if he keeps up, he's worthy. So he made it, you know. I know he struggled through Kansas City, uh, you know, zipping in and out of the traffic, but uh, little bastard was right behind us. <laughs> He didn't have much choice, did he? But anyways, uh, we made it to Florida, and he was still in one piece. He didn't get pulled over, so uh, so I, he's uh But I was gonna talk about him today because <clears throat> his age. Uh, I think I maybe in a personal video somewhere. I I found a tooth, and I thought it was one of my grandkids were here. And come to find out, he's lost all his teeth except his canine. Uh, and occasionally, I'll show him on different videos. Uh, but I thought I'd maybe talk about him today because <clears throat> what I'm winding down now doing is I gotta cut up his damn food. And what happens is we he's got the uh, regular, uh, the hard puppy chow kind of food. <clears throat> we try to switch him to the, the softer food because he doesn't have any teeth. Well, it gives him the shits. Now, little did I know that when you raise a dog and, and you give him a certain food, they have to stay with that food because he's. If you go like from hard food to the soft food, <clears throat> they can't. It, it messes up their system. Uh, obviously, when we found out that he lost his teeth, he just had his canine. We just said, "Oh, we'll buy him some soft food so it's easier to chew." And, and uh, I don't want to tell you how we learned that he, we can't give him that. <laughs> uh, it was pretty messy, and I'm the one throwing all this shit out. And so I'm not saying anything on this shit. I'm, I'm gonna clean it up. So good luck cleaning that shit out of there. <laughs> So, yesterday, was it yesterday, I think? Yeah, that's because when we, we gave him the soft, <clears throat> we gave him the hard food, <clears throat> then we gave him treats, which is uh, kind of like the pepperoni and little soft chewable food, but they come in the longer pieces and more bulky. And with that soft, that soft uh, food, it's hard for him to swallow. He's got to gum it. And a lot of times I think he just kind of gums it, gums it, gums it, and then he just like swallows the damn thing. And then he's yakking it out. I was like, man. So I'm yelling at him because he's going to throw it up. And he did that one time in my room when I was uh, like 2 o'clock in the morning. I was doing some editing. And it sounded funny. I said, what the heck is he doing? Because he's always following me. He's attracted to my leg. I think that's what it is. He's waiting for me to fall asleep and he'll take advantage of me. But uh, I heard him and he made a sunny found. It was a sound, a sound and I think, what the heck is going on? Man, I'm, there's a big pile of vomit on there. I look at, oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> without no warning but uh, I think it was yesterday a couple of days ago I just said you know what uh, I can't do anything about the hard food but I want to try to cut up his small his smaller treats make it easier for him to eat so I said you know what talk about something I might as well talk about that shit so I was thinking I was cutting it up I started cutting it up so I'm going to get damn full now and this is what I'm doing here right there I've become a chef for a dog I've sunk even lower than I could. First of all, I'm doing a lot of shit here for my wife, spending a lot of money, you know, for my family, but family's pretty much gone, but she's like, well, my wife's gonna step up and she's gonna replace their their cost with her extra cost. I'm thinking, okay, I'm getting screwed in that deal. Now because uh, my dog's getting older, nobody seems to watch out for him except me. I don't know how that shit happens, you know? It's like, you buy a dog or you buy something and then uh, you get stuck with a damn bill. And you get stuck with a pet. So this is what I'm winding up doing now. It's like, now I'm cutting up the shit for the dog. He follows me around. He's following me around. What the hell did I do his bed? Oh, here we go. <laughs> I had to get it out later, earlier. But 
I'm kind of adapted to this. This piece is like this, but they they go longer. So this is an example right here. Looks like a regular steak. Wait, cabron, you ain't going back out. She's let him out now. He drinks. He drinks a gallon of water. I don't understand it. He drinks a gallon of water. He's got. He got to go out there, and he's got to piss like two drops. Comes in. No, hey. He goes out there. And he comes back in. He drinks another gallon of water. And he's like, I gotta go pee. And he goes out there and I'm watching him. And I'm like, uh, hurry up, hurry up. Something. He's just kind of like walking around. He's like on vacation. Sightseeing and he's blind. I don't know what the deal with this. And he drinks a gallon of water and he retains it. And then he says, I gotta go pee. And he looks at me. He doesn't look at nobody else. Time that can be here in the room. I keep him in the room. He comes to me and says, and like, no, I'm not doing that. And and something that's really in common is, <clears throat> I sit on that side of the, let me see here, right there. That's where I sit, right next to the door. That's when I eat. When I'm eating, that's where I sit. As soon as I sit there, it's like, I'm the doorman now. The door, the dog's kind of like, oh, well, the doorman's here. And I'm like, no, I'm eating. I'm going to eat this shit before I even be a doorman. And he'll just sit there, watch me eat. Now, I don't know how you guys feel about when people watch you eat or, you know, maybe pits. They're just sitting there and they're like. I can't, I can't just sit there and then they're just like eyeballing me. And like. Oye, cabrón, quítate ahí. Anyways, uh. I can't tell him, no, he, he, this is my house. I tell you when you're going to go out. And when I start seeing him running around the house, that's when <laughs> I'm running around the house trying to get him out of the house. Well, anyways, I just want to talk about, now you can call me a chef. I'm moving up. I'm not just a helper. I am a chef for a dog. That's it for today.